Hello, this is William Bowman, and I'm recording this video for Stephanie over at Pup Pup and Away. Um, so thank you so much, first of all, for allowing me to record this video for you. Um, I will be uh, explaining exactly what I found on your website and what you can change in order to start getting some better re results and some more volume your way. So in order to do that, I need to explain a couple things. That way you have an understanding of how to implement the changes and be able to tell when those changes are actually working because I mean, honestly, what we're after here is results, right? So I'm gonna be covering the volume of clients looking for your services in your specific area, what your top online competitor is doing to win that volume currently, and things you can do this exact moment on your site to start winning those clients in the future. So starting out, I wanted to you know just run through your site really quickly. Um, I do really like your site. I really love all of the different uh, pictures of dogs that you have, like the miniature snazzer peeking up over the, over the picture here. Um, and you have information, you know, about, you know, tips about what, what you should be doing, um, and blog posts and everything with, uh, with wonderful different interaction here with the users. So it, it is a great site. You have multiple pages and everything. It's great. Um, the one thing that I would note, it, uh, note is that, uh, you should implement some more, actual like word content and there's a specific reason for that right um, you typically want a thousand to fifteen hundred words on your front home page and about three to five hundred words on every other page especially service pages sometimes service pages you can even go up to a thousand as well and the reason for that is because you want to be able to sprinkle keywords in there and keywords are specifically words that somebody would throw into google in order to find their product or service, right? So this is something that I might throw in there if I was looking for dog training near me. So I, I will be covering what volume of people search this on a monthly basis in San Antonio. Um, but first I wanna show you kind of what the res what the results are when we search this. So first, first off, you're gonna see an ad up here. Um, I'm really glad to not see you up here paying for these ads. They're really good when you first start out or when you're trying to ramp up, but they're not a good long-term solution um, because usually what happens is, is people see the word ad and they just keep scrolling. Uh, we're just kind of trained to do that, I suppose, with all the ads we see. Uh, but the next area is the Google Map Pack, right? And this Google Map Pack, if you are not set up here, um, you definitely should go ahead and set this up. It's pretty easy to do. You just go to GMB or Google My Business. You put in information about your company, the website, telephone number, and all of that. And they will allow you to, you know, have this little, like one of these little icons spots on the map, which is actually really good because uh, geographically, when somebody searches, they might find you because you're geographically close to them. Um, and you can actually optimize it to be, you know, top three for a much wider area, but I'm not going to really jump into that. It's just more right Right now for you know building up confidence in your potential clients because most people even if they know the name of the company they're still going to search google to see the reviews for that company because they know that it's going to be good and bad reviews and they're going to get a real uh all-around picture of the company but this is the area that i really wanted to focus on this is called the organic search area and this is only based off of these words here based off of how well these these websites are tuned to Google's algorithm in order to rank. You can't pay to have this top spot and they get a lion's share of the volume that comes through when they when words like this are searched. So when we pop over to their site, we're going to see, you know, yeah, they have they have a site, uh, they have some content, I'm guessing probably about six or six to 800, um, not the optimal amount, but they definitely have a lot of content. Um, I don't want to spend time looking at their site, right? I'd rather show you what's underneath the hood. Let's compare what they're actually doing right to bring them volume. So when we pop in here, we're going to see, um, this UR and DR figures. These are both numbers from zero to a hundred and they correlate to how well the site is ranking in Google's algorithm, um, in two different ways. So the first way is UR. This is the URL rating and you know, this is kind of like the trustworthiness of the specific page in question. Um, you know, usually for a city like San Antonio that has the population that it does, I would have expected a UR ranked number one, you know, to be anywhere between 25 up to, you know, above 50. Um, it's very possible for a big city. Um, so I was actually surprised to see a UR of 15. Um, now when we come over here, this is the DR, this is the domain rating. This is kind of like your reputation or power of the entire site. So all of the pages. Um, and this is, uh, this is, was also very surprising as well because typically these numbers are pretty close to each other as long as you're, uh, as long as you're building it up correctly. Um, but you know, these are pretty low numbers for such a big city. 
Um, so now when we're talking about how to raise those numbers, um, I want to talk to you about backlinks. So, but what is a backlink, right? So a backlink, imagine if I'm writing a blog and I say, you know, pop up in a way they are the best in town. I use them for all my training and boarding needs. Um, and then I put a link to your site with well, that link is a backlink, um, that link that leads to your site. Um, so there's different qualities of backlinks. You know, I would, I would definitely recommend building higher quality backlinks as opposed to low quality backlinks. I've seen, um, companies that come in and put like a thousand really poorly made backlinks from like China and Russia and they just fill up the backlinks thinking that like this massive number is going to help the site somehow when in all actuality, you know, five or 10 is ra are raising these numbers because they're good quality. So definitely quality over quantity. Um, an example of a quick backlink that you can get, it's not going to be very powerful, but just so that you can get started, you know, go register with the BBB, um, go put your information there, telephone number, website, that link to your website is a backlink. It's not going to be extremely powerful, not going to really budge these so much, but it's an example there for you. Now, it looks like they have 11 different websites, sending them 22 in total, so about two per website. Um, and they are ranking for 153 different keyword combinations. So let's go take a look at the keywords. So here are the keywords, the exact keywords that they're ranking for. And here's the average volume uh, every single month that uh, the number of clients that are searching that on average every single month. Um, if you notice the rankings here on the side, um, they vary depending on the keyword. Um, this first one, you know, 7,200 volume, you'd be like, oh my God, I definitely want to get that one. But um, really dog behaviors near me, that can be national. So um, if somebody in Florida searches that and you're ranked, even if you're ranked number one, you know, the odds of you actually being able to serve them um, and actually get revenue from that, that search and bring back, you know, a return on investment that it's, it's not too high. Um, so that's why I prefer that my clients search for something like this. You know, they focus on what we call buyer intent keywords. So dog training, San Antonio, you know, if somebody searches this and there's quite a bit of volume, right? Um, you can actually help them and it might mean more income for your business. Um, and you know, if you start adding up all of these different volumes, depending on the you know exact combination, you start seeing that there's quite a few people searching for just even training. You know, we're not even, uh, I haven't even gotten into boarding or anything, but there's quite a few people just searching for training. Um, so you could start bringing in a lot of traffic. Um, but let's go ahead and look and see kind of what your website's up to. Um, so when we pop over, we see a uh, UR of 18, DR of six. So you're definitely moving, uh, moving the needle there. Looks like the DR needs some work. Uh, DR um, is, a, a big, you can get higher URs. You know, remember when I said that BBB, um, that's called a citation when it's on a directory site like that. Um, that will raise your UR very quickly, but DR is only raised from really strong quality backlinks that are like, um, uh, like a blog post from like a good established blog. Um, so definitely look for more guest posts on blogs or more authoritative content that like basically teaches about your industry. Um, and that will allow you to start raising this DR higher. Um, I wouldn't focus on getting so many more backlinks. You know, I would just focus on trying to get this DR up. Um, and then let's go look at your keywords and let's see kind of what you guys are ranking for. Um, you know, it looks like your position one for pop up in a way, which is great. It's the name of your company. But the problem with that is that, you know, somebody who knows this already knows your company and was planning on using you, right? So we're trying to get you new clientele that don't know anything about you and that are searching online. Um, so I would definitely start, you know, tweaking some of the keywords, um, definitely get yourself some keywords that we showed you with the, the competitors using so that you can start getting some actual volume of people that want to buy your services. Um, also based off of these results, it looks like you probably have some backlinks that are from some other countries. Um, I might actually take those off because Google does look for that and they, they kind of know that somebody's trying to pad their backlinks by putting in foreign backlinks. Um, so they can actually dock you points for that. Um, so because, I mean, what are the, what are the odds that a, uh, a company, a, a, uh, backlink from New Zealand or backlink from Hungary is really having anything to do with a, uh, dog training service in San Antonio. Um, so that's, that's my recommendations for you, uh, regarding your site. Um, I hope this information was valuable. If you could please drop me some feedback on whether or not it was easy to follow, if you're able to, you know, uh, easily perform these actions, or if you think that I needed to explain something a little bit better, I would really appreciate it. But uh, thank you so much for your time, and I hope you have a great day.